Hey guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot, and I am back to do another video series of How Do They Feel? All right, this is about how your partner feels about you. Um, this is going to be for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, so, in the beginning of the month, Aries, I was doing um, the How Do They Feel video series by going through the whole deck of cards. I got a lot of comments saying that the energy is reversed. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do it old like my regular way that I would do a general reading. But it's going to be focused on how your partner feels. It's going to be an oracle message from Spirit about this partner. Um, we're going to be using the Stevens Universe um, deck of Major Arcanas to see what the challenges are. The Universal um, Rider Waite Tarot deck. And for clarification, we're going to be using the Smithwaite Centennial Tarot deck, okay? So we're going to ask about the challenge. Well, we're going to see the challenges, but we're going to ask about the best course of action, um, the potential outcome, and advice, okay? Um, not in that order, of course, but um, yeah, we're going to ask for um, what would the potential outcome be on the current path? that you're on right now with this soulmate or, or partner or love interest. And then what challenges you both face. And then we would ask for the advice and the um, best course of action, okay? So let's get started with the Oracle card. And let's see, ooh, already. So appreciation is reversed here and we have Rest and rejuvenation, okay? Appreciation and rest and rejuvenation. Remember, this is how your partner feels. So your partner, I kind of feel like I want to shuffle. Hold on, let me shuffle. See if they come back out, okay? Um, how does Aries' partner feel about them? Give us, two, give us an oracle message, one or two cards, showing us the energy that the partner is encompassing at the moment as it pertains to this soulmate journey how do they feel so this is first chakra base chakra somebody's feeling passionate somebody is missing you <laughs> base chakra is about security um, it is also the carnal desires let me get one more one more card please usually um i would do like one or two and then look at the bottom one more for aries all right wow they gave me two more so i'm not gonna get oh caring connection at the bottom wow so this person cares about you community and healer of the ages that's a lot of cards so Let's look at this one first. The base chakra, uh, this is passion for me. Um, security um, is usually associated with this particular chakra. Um, the angel here is Archangel Michael. This is fiery. This is passion. Okay. Very powerful angel. Um, he holds a beautiful globe of a red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is a place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you've had problems with your with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path, so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now. So this person wants to come towards you here, okay? They wanna to come towards you. Now the community card always reminds me of the Three of Cups card. There could have been some type of the third party situation. Um, in the Oracle deck, it doesn't mean third party, obviously, but it does remind me of that with the three women, um, but it just talks about three women celebrating, sharing ideas and supporting um, and having supportive energy. The lights in the picture represents your ever-present spirit community as well, okay? So these little lights are the spirit world working in your favor, 
working behind the scenes, <laughs> okay? And um, when this card is upright, it indicates an association of some kind, okay? It could, it may be a casual connection of like-minded people joining a club or a community of some sort, or even a business partnership consisting of three or more entities. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, okay? Whether they're professional or personal, networking and community are important parts of the human experience. And the security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. Again, the word security is being highlighted again. And um, it's true that when several people join their intention, it accelerates their power in, in the energetic realm. Receiving this card puts you on notice that the universe is sending some beneficial alliances your way. Okay? So the universe is working in your favor, in your favor because... Your partner may have had some type of change of heart and they are really thinking about you. They feel stable. They feel more secure. You could have been with someone that was, emo uh, in was emotionally unstable, financially unstable, that this is about security. And I feel like this person had an issue with, in with security. They had an imbalanced root chakra, um, which you know, would be <laughs> um, someone with a compulsive nature, let's say, okay? So healer of the ages is reverse, 51. And 51 would be your partner feeling, we're needing, um, because this is like feeling upside down in your life. You may be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy but this card is telling you that there are deeper deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. So this person has healed past some things in the past and now is feeling more secure to come towards you here. The, the universe is intervening and there are some things happening in the spirit realm. And this person does think about you. This person does care about you. And this is, for me, a reconciliation card. Okay? So this person does remember the good times um, they remember the passion that you guys had between you guys, the way when you guys were together, you guys shared ideas, you guys were happy with each other. However, they had to go through a healing process. They were feeling unstable in their life, but now their chakra is balanced. They feel a sense of security, a sense of stability, and now they feel like they can come towards you with a reconciliation. So I do like that oracle message for, for you. And this is how your partner is feeling. They're feeling more stable. What is the challenge you face? Or what is the challenge the partner faces? Okay, I gotta remember this is how they feel. Your partner doesn't wanna look like the fool. Your partner is, there is a little bit of insecurity or may have been insecurity in the past. I kind of feel like this is, you know, them knowing that they made mistakes or made a bad judgment as it pertains to this relationship. And I kind of feel like they're afraid of taking a risk or they're afraid of making a hasty decision. It's the energy that I'm feeling with this particular card. This is now, you know, being on the start of a journey, you know, in the upright. Um, but why is the star the reverse? This is being um, on a journey, but um, it's reversed. So this is like they want to reconcile. They're coming towards you, but, or they want to come towards you, but they may be experiencing some um, confidence issues. Or for me, I just think they may be feeling some insecurity, you know, just a little insecurity coming towards you um, with this reconciliation, or maybe just coming towards you to apologize or just talking to you. They know what they did in the past. They know they made some mistakes. They made some bad decisions in the past. They know they were wrong. They know they were acting like a fool. So I feel like, you know, this person, the challenge is, yes, they're feeling the caring connection between you two, but they're still reluctant. You know, they, they haven't made a decision to take that leap just yet. Okay, but this could be, rec you know, this could be talking about them being impulsive, being reckless, making bad decisions in the past, okay? This is about being immature, being childish, but I feel like 
Again, this is a little bit of hesitation. So that is the challenge. The sun reverse was at the bottom. Um, they know they made you unhappy. Um, they know that <clears throat> they weren't completely honest with you in the past and they may have deceived you in the past, okay? They kept you in the dark. So let's get started with how they feel. We're gonna be using the universal right away here. Um, and I'm gonna do a um, my modified Celtic cross here to get an idea of how your partner feels about you. Why am I shuffling like this? <laughs> I feel like the cards are sticking a little bit. I don't like that. I already shuffled. Um, prior, but I like to shuffle on camera and just to show you. <laughs> Sometimes I pre-shuffle. It just depends on how I feel. All right. So I think that's pretty good. So we're going to split. All right. What's the heart of the matter here? Wow, they got their defenses up. They want to they wanna win you back. They feel like they're, com there's an energy of them feeling like they're competing for you, your attention, or this could just be them um, not wanting to fight with you anymore. Again, wow, what's crossing them? Yeah, definitely. Maybe there's somebody else in the picture. Maybe they feel like you need to choose between them and another person. I kind of felt competition for some reason, um, which is the crossing energy. Um, needing to make a choice or this could be them needing to make this choice to come towards you but they feel like you got your guard up and they're kind of afraid to come towards you they don't know how you're going to react to them so this could be them needing to make a choice too to completely end a situation with another party okay um what is the fundamental issue or the um present this is the 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 soulmate and they feel powerless. They may feel a little weak. Um, they know what they did. They know that they were lying and they were deceptive. Okay, but I really feel like this is a lack of confidence. I feel like they're they lack they're lacking the confidence to come towards you because in the past they had this third party situation, which we saw with that community card. I just kind of feel like that always reminds me of the Three of Cups. Um, what's on their mind right now? They don't want to end the relationship with you. That's a fact. Like they don't, they're not ready to end this with you. Um, but they're maybe resisting some changes. Maybe there's some, some things that they need to change. Um, they're going through a trans transition. And I feel like they're in a stage where they're still in that cocoon stage where they're still kind of cooking. So they haven't really transformed or metamorphosized into a better version of themselves yet. 13 um, is the number of the death card, which reduces to four. And the negative aspect or shadow side of the four is avoidance. So right now, the they are feeling like avoiding you may be easier than approaching you. Because again, they were the magician. The underlying issue was the fact that they were the magician reverse. And they didn't treat you very well. They were domineering. They were controlling. They were a liar. You know, they manipulated you. They overpowered you. This is someone that likes to be in control, okay? <clears throat> What's the immediate future? Somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody is tired of being lonely. Somebody wants to get back into dating you or, you know, being with you. Because this is someone, you know, being a hermit for a while and withdrawing from, the social, from socializing. And this is someone wanting to come back in and socialize with you. <laughs> Or just want to socialize, you know, because the community card is about socializing. So this person could be out bingling, okay? They they partied a lot in the past. They're, they feel weak, they feel powerless, they feel very indecisive. So they could still be looking at their way and their options here. Because again, it was crossing. This person is the lovers, meaning that they still have a choice to make. Let me make some space. Make sure y'all can see everything. So, where are their doubts and fears? <clears throat> not being in control. Not being in control. Are you being temperamental? 
this is being this is a loss of control a loss of self-control a lack of self-discipline this is being un emotionally unstable they may not want to be in their feelings they may not want to feel that because remember healer of the ages did show up um healer of the ages and by the way see they feel betrayed because you left so they're still healing that's that's why that's their doubt, that their fears here. Healer of the Ages, I didn't read the, the, the book for um, explanation, but um, in the reverse, it's um, losing, feeling like you're losing energy, um, <clears throat> needing to take time to regroup and put your own healing first. Whether you're facing mental, emotional, physical, or even addictive patterns, call upon the healer of the ages to bring his energy to the issues you're working on. Quiet your mind and feel his vibration, bringing you warmth, healing light, clearing away any dark or hurting space. Repeat this meditation and be patient. Yet also know that divine love can heal you in a blink of a belief. So this person still needs to heal from this energy here. Okay? Ten of swords. Ten swords stab in their back. They need to heal from that. And what this is, they feel emotionally unstable. And they feel like they're, they may not be able to get past that. Okay, this person party, they had many women. They like to enjoy themselves. So they're still fighting the change. They're still resisting, okay? But I feel like they want to reconcile with you here because the hermit would be them withdrawing pulling away, being in isolation from you, and this is reversed. So let's see what the outside influence is for this person. The outside influence is slow movement. <laughs> um, or you're not communicating. You may have blocked them on social media, text message. You may have blocked them on your phone. No communication from you, okay? Um, also, you're not moving towards them. It's like you're pulling away from them with the eight of wands reverse, a lack of progress, a lack of growth, a lack of, a lack of expansion in this relationship. What are their hopes and desires? We have the ace of cup um, that you will forget about the hurt of the past, the hurt that they cause you, okay? And let them refill that cup. They want you to forgive them for hurting you and what is the final outcome okay so they want you to forgive them but here is the final outcome we have the four of wands in the reverse remember this person is impulsive unpredictable or they think that you're impulsive and unpredictable they may think that you they can't trust you because you you know you have you lack self-discipline you like to party, you like to drink, you like to date other people or mingle. Um, you like to pull away here. So the hermit reverse can be looked at to as to it could look it, blah, blah, blah. it could be looked at in two different ways. This could be rejection. This could be feeling lonely, being lonely, being alone, feeling like you're gonna reject them as you know, this is the immediate future, this is the potential. And this is a lack of stability, okay? No solid foundation created here. So let's clarify the death card, the hermit card, and the four of wands, and the ace of cups reverse. I didn't say what I wanted to clarify first. So let's start off with what I did, but it came out before I went back to say clarify death. Okay, here. Four, again, see? It makes sense. The emperor is consistency, stability, okay, S security, but consistency is key. This person doesn't know if you will be consistent. They don't know if you'll have a, they'll have a stable relationship with you. You may be a, a little bit controlling to them. They may feel like you're controlling, or this could be them feeling weak when it comes to you. They may feel like you're they're too weak to come towards you because again they know what they did let's clarify the um hermit card please yeah queen of wands 
again, they feel a lack of success. They feel like they're going to be rejected. The Queen of Wands is unsuccessful. Okay? No action being taken. Also, um, promiscuous. She's promiscuous. Got to put that out there. Controlling, control freak, jealous. Very possessive. They feel like you may be too jealous, too possessive. And... Or they are possessive, jealous. Yeah. Yeah, see? Same cards are coming out. Hangman, the sun, and the three of cups. In reverse. Um, they may feel that you still have a third party. They could be jealous and possessive and they don't know if they can deal with you while you're out here having fun and being a liar and a sinner. Um, I feel like the her, the the hangman is them not making a this choosing not to make a decision. Or they feel like you're just going to leave them hanging. You're gonna leave them hanging. That's how they feel. Let's see why you're in the hopes and desires or hopes and dreams. Let's see why the Ace of Cups is being reversed. Ooh, sorry you guys. Y'all can't even see that. Is that better? My bad. Let's see why the Ace of Cups is reversed here for the hopes and desires. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed for card nine, hopes and desires? I'm wanting you to forgive them or forget about the heartache. Or this is them wanting to forget about the heartache you caused them. Clarify the Ace of Cups reverse, please. I feel like this card wants to come out. Temperance, yeah. Lacking faith in you, possibly, in themselves. Remember, this the energies are interchangeable still. I didn't say that. Yeah, see? Knight of Wands, in and out. Feeling like you may be in and out. Their hopes and desires is not to have a broken heart again, not to get their heart broken. Okay, that's what it is. They don't want to have their heart broken again. It's not about whether they can, you can forgive them. They're worried about being able to forgive you um, because you broke their heart. Ooh, tower reverse. <clears throat> this is also about not wanting to settle. This is temperance in reverse is about... Um, question of morality making the same mistake it's like they feel like they've been making they every time they take you back they're making the same mistakes over and over or you're making the same mistakes over and over and they don't know if they want to they don't know if they want to keep doing that with you keep settling for that they feel like they need you to change but you're resisting the change the towers reverse but either way when the tower shows up in the spread it's inevitable change you're going to change either way and i feel like they don't see this outcome being stable. Let's clarify the four. Ooh, almost dropped everything. Let's go. Okay, I'm, okay, the energy is crazy right now. <laughs> Let's recharge with my cards real quick. Clarify the four of wands reverse, please. Why is this showing up as the final outcome? Why is that showing up as the final outcome, please? The world. Don't want to repeat the same cycle over and over. Don't want to keep going around in circles with you. But this could be just them wanting a new beginning elsewhere. This is success. This is talking about wanting success or not feeling that they could be successful in this relationship. Clarify the world card, please. Yeah, wanting to release themselves from this. Definitely wanting to release themselves. Right. Do some more clarifying of the world card here. Clarify this world card. Right, see? And then at the bottom of the deck, strength in reverse. They feel like you're weak, you have a weak character, and you're not someone they can trust. Or this again is them feeling weak when it comes to you making a decision. Um, again, this person could be the one with the third party. Um, bottom of the deck cards, the 
the devil and the moon card. Never a good combination, okay? Treachery, three of hearts, queen of swords. I kind of feel with these two, these four cards here, and I'm looking at these as the best course of action for you guys. Now, we're going to look at this as a continuation. Meaning to release this toxic attachment or the toxic energy surrounding this relationship. This is a 10. This is an ending of the suffering of the hardship. Okay. There's some, somebody is being, um, somebody is experiencing a lot of fear. And I'm saying somebody because again, the energies are interchangeable. This is how they feel. They are experiencing a lot of fear and a lot of sorrow. But they, they're attached to you. They're obsessed. Or they're still attached to this pain here. And with the Queen of Wands, this is fire. This is Leo. We have uh, all signs, you know, Aries, Gemini, um, heart, crossing the heart of the matter. All fire signs, Scorpio with the death card, Cancer. With the Queen of Wands energy, being Leo, she's very, she's act, she takes action. She has confidence. I feel like this person doesn't have the confidence in this relationship anymore. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Definitely... Definitely doesn't have the confidence. See, Chariot. Yeah, they're going to be moving on, unfortunately. Okay? So, that's the potential outcome. So, let's look at the best course of action for you guys. Spirit, can you tell us what the best course of action is? Ace of Wands. Making a decision. Or maybe there, you need to have a new approach. Okay? The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a new beginning, a new way of thinking, a new approach to the situation. Change something about your behavior because something is causing this disconnect. This person doesn't, this person cares about you, but we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups being presented, but there's disharmony here with the Two of Cups. Two to the Seven. Second house to the seventh house. Disharmony, a breakdown in communication, imbalance, loss of control. Some, you know, this, the, the, you guys are not seeing eye to eye here. So best course of action is the Ace of Wands. Give me another card, please. And the Seven of Cups reverse. You need to start... Finding a solution. You need to come up with some ideas. Take your head out of the clouds. Put your focus on this relationship if this is something you want. Because the Seven of Cups reverse is talking about facing reality, looking for solutions, looking for how you can make this relationship a success. Let me get one more card. I don't like how those came out. Give me one more card, please. As the final... Um, piece of advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. That's one more card, please. All right. Guardian Angel, Temperance, have patience and you need to heal yourself. You need to balance yourself in order for this relationship to work out because it's showing me that you you have a lack of self-discipline, a lack of control. Okay? This is about patience, this is about balance, this is about healing. Okay? Having patience, facing reality, being honest with yourself and looking for solutions, new ideas, making changes, taking action. Okay? So Asking for help, asking the spirit world for help, calling on your angels for help. Archangel Michael was presented in a healer of hate ages was presented. Ask for help, okay? 
So that is your reading and that's how they feel. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.